isolates you so you can get yourself together, right? God isolates you. And it's so much, it's so beautiful. The isolation, the isolation process is so beautiful, right? Because we feel as if we need people to thrive, right? When God wants your attention, he's going to separate you from people. You don't got to be around everybody. You don't need a bunch of people around you. All you need is you. And sometimes when God wants your, your undivided attention, it's to take you somewhere. We move so fast in this world. We move so fast. Everything is fast, fast, fast. Sometimes we got to slow down. You got to slow down and take yourself seriously. You got to slow down and watch what's going on around you. Sometimes you got to be separated and isolated from friends and family members, from work, right? Mental health days, self-care days. Sometimes you got to be separated from family, people that you love to get you together because you matter. And the truth is, is that if you are not doing well and if you're not getting your life together and things are not going right for you, it's a reflection of how you deal with the relationships around you, right? If you can, if you're not right, nothing around you will be right. If you're not right mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, Nothing around you will be okay. You got to get to a point in your life where you got to say, you know what, God, you got it. I'm going to isolate myself. I'm going to take a time out. I'm going to work on me. And in this isolation stage, what you're doing is you're working on yourself. You're cultivating who you want to be. You're working on your gifts. You're working on your talents. You're working on your anger. You're working on your smile. You're working on your insecurities. You're working on your self-esteem. You're working on these things. Because there's work to be done during the isolation process, right? And what you need to do is stop picking up what God is telling you to put down. God is telling you to put down some friends, put down some family members, right? Not in a bad way, but just put them down. Like we don't always have to lift people up. It's time for you to lift yourself up. It's time for you to put yourself first. It's time for you to worry about you, love you, take care of you. And you can't carry everybody else. So when you're in the isolation stage, you're worrying about you. And it's not selfish, it's selfless. Because if you're not okay, nothing around you will be okay. Your kids won't be okay. Your wife won't be okay. Your husband won't be okay. Nothing around you will be okay. In this isolation stage, you need to start pouring into yourself. You need to start loving yourself. You need to start investing in you. Let me ask you a question, right? When was the last time you, you loved you? Right. When was the last time? Let me ask you a question. When was the last time you invested in you? When was the last time you poured into you? When, when was the last time you worried about you? You isolated yourself and you were just there. It's just you. Just you and you. Without the noise. Without all the chaos. When was the last time you chose you? You took a mental health day. You took a self-care day. You said, you know what? I'm going to go to the spa by myself. You know what? I'm going to go to the gym today. I ain't going to worry about work. I'm not going to worry about the noise. I'm going to worry about me because I matter. I care. I love me. I love me that much that I'm going to invest in me today. When was the last time you did? I challenge you. I challenge you to invest in yourself. Right? Start right now. Start today. Invest in you. Do something good for yourself. Do something amazing for yourself. Do something. It could be anything. But you are, you're choosing to do this. You're doing this intentionally. I want you to intentionally do something for yourself that will make you happy. All right? Drop some comments. Tell me what you're going to do. Tell me what you're going to do. And it could be anything. I don't, I don't care what it is. But at least you're being intentional about your happiness, about your goals, your dreams, and your life. Drop some comments and let me know. Peace.